friends it's a joy to meet you all again in this uh, new year uh, wishing and praying that all of us will be able to uh, be witnesses for him and will be able to fulfill the purpose that god has for each one of us for uh, today's uh, meditation i have uh, you know picked up on the topic uh, the race that god has set before each one of us to run okay so uh, maybe the race of our life okay uh, when we all uh, signed up to follow jesus we all would have had different expectations uh, from god from others and also from ourselves right so in our normal life we had to face challenges hardships and so on so the challenges that we faced were the same when we hadn't yet signed up to follow follow the lord so what's the difference okay the way a person who has signed up to walk with jesus to follow jesus in faces those challenges and responds those challenges in a way that shows out love joy peace patience kindness goodness gentleness faithfulness and self control so they uh, a lot of hope emanates from the way they respond to the situations irrespective of the nature of the challenges okay so this is what that makes the difference and uh, through the journey through it all the person who has chosen to have uh, jesus alongside you know show or learns to trust in jesus and you know they also learn to walk in obedience okay and um, and also down the line uh, many people would have uh, rejected us let us down but we know by our experience that jesus has never let us down never forsaken us disappointed us or abandoned us okay so that is why we continue walking with him and uh, we know that it is uh, joy unspeakable and full of glory because it is he who supplies everything that we need to face these challenges okay and another thing that we have to know see here is are we alone in this okay for that let's uh, read uh, these verses from hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 i'll read them out to you therefore we also since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us looking unto jesus the author and finisher of our faith we see in these verses very clearly that there are great clouds of witnesses who have run the race that was set before them okay and we also see that there was some methodology that they used uh, for running their race successfully and we read these verses to adopt the same methodology for ourselves also again i i'll refer another verse to you first corinthians 9 verse 24 do you not know that those who run in a race all run but one receives the prize so run in such a way that you may obtain it okay so we have to run that we should obtain the reward at the same time how we have to run is also given in those verses so let's see that uh, methodology that's given in a more uh, in a little more elaborate way okay so firstly it's given there is a great cloud of witnesses so first thing we need to remember or we need to encourage ourselves by telling that no i am not alone in this there were many people who have run this race and they didn't run it alone there was god along with them all through that journey Okay, so you and I are running this race with Jesus. Let's not forget that. Secondly, we are asked to lay aside every weight. Okay, uh, another translation says like this: lay aside every encumbrance. That means uh, to give up on those things of this world that weigh us down. This we need to sit and think, right? Each one of us will have different different things that weigh us down. okay um that we need to put it aside putting it aside means um uh, yeah it is difficult but it is possible only okay and uh, what can give you the energy to put it aside is the power of the love of god 
only that can help us rid ourselves of this uh, you know uh, lesser longings uh, that would uh, distract or hamper or harm the race that we run okay and uh, so let's delve deeper into the knowledge of the love of god so that it will help us to lay aside this weight okay then thirdly we need to lay aside every sin that so easily entangles us here again only the love of the father can give us the grace to throw off uh, sinful habits or routines or fears or desires you know that are dulling the brilliance of christ in our life and um, that slows down the pace um, uh, you know pace of our race and uh, you know um, that uh, so that we won't be able to uh, pursue towards that goal and win the race that is before us okay and fourthly we are asked to run the race with endurance jesus is the perfect as example for this enduring uh, path okay uh, it is given it is uh, we read in the word of god that for the sake of the joy set before him jesus endured the cross despising the shame the phrase uh, despising the shame it uh, simply means that jesus just ignored the shame and he endured that cross and uh, Uh, he just didn't think about the shame um, more okay so we also if we despise something we give no regard to it right we just just like that we leave it jesus also gave no regard to that uh, humiliation or uh, that shame that came from dying on the cross he compared it with the reward that was set before him and that helped him to obey the heavenly father okay he didn't consider it something really uh, great to take into account when it was compared to the reward okay so that is what we need to follow also okay and last but not the least we are asked to look unto jesus the author and finisher of our faith we need to remember that only by looking at jesus and uh, only by having his guidance that we can run this race um we are not running this race for the applause of people right and we are, we are running it for him because he did so much for us on the cross by sacrificing himself uh, you know and uh, just to prepare a place for us so that we will be never separated from him because of that sin so jesus ran with endurance in obedience and he showed that the reward is sure okay and that reward was the joy of sitting down beside his father inheriting the earth as a priestly king god has also promised us a reward and uh, for that uh, he asks us to uh, you know set aside this weight and he asks us to run with endurance to believe in this reward it takes faith okay so this exercise of faith is what uh, pleases god in hebrews 11 6 we read right and without faith is it is impossible to please god because any one who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him so friends let's uh, cling on to this promise of reward okay and let's run this race with endurance and uh, i pray that all of us will run this race uh, so that we may obtain the reward that he has set for us